characteristic feature of the steps approach is that we're exploring a variety of different pathways with which to reconcile poverty reduction with sustainability. That approach applies very directly and very importantly to the domain of food and agriculture. Agriculture is absolutely vital to poverty reduction in many poor developing countries and many of the ways in which agriculture has been developed historically, both the industrialised world and in the developing world, has compromised environmental sustainability and damaging the environment aggravates poverty rather than diminishes it. And so we're looking at ways of reconciling those. And this requires for us finding for poor farmers struggling with um, environmental challenges and the challenges of poverty, multiple diverse pathways which they can explore in order to find those which most effectively reconcile for them sustainability with poverty reduction. And this often involves pursuing di directions and pathways which are not those currently being funded by some of the most powerful incumbent organisations supporting agricultural de development. And this, for example, was a pattern we found in a project we did on poor maize farmers in East Africa where high-tech drought-resistant maize was being recommended to them when in practice it turned out that there was a wide consensus that in practice those kinds of innovations weren't the most useful pathway for them and it would be much better for them to diversify out of maize into other crops which cope far more effectively with drought. And we're applying that kind of approach increasingly to a wider range of different projects, for example, in relation to livestock as well as um, crop cultivation. And in these ways, we're trying to apply a pathways approach to the food and agriculture domain.